In this video, I am telling you all about the ingredient minoxidil for the treatment of hair loss. This is part two in my hair loss series. Check out part one where I told you the truth about scalp serums for hair loss. I will link that here and in the description below. I'm Dr. Marin Locke, the budget dermatologist here on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel for more educational videos and skincare product reviews and come say hi on Instagram at the budget dermatologist. So here are all of the questions that I am going to answer in this video. What is minoxidil? What types of hair loss does minoxidil treat? How do you get minoxidil? What brand is best? What strength is best? How do you use it? How does it work? Are there research studies proving that it is effective? How long does it take to get results? How much does it cost? Are the effects or the benefits from minoxidil permanent? Can it be used in combination with other treatments? And are there natural alternatives to minoxidil if you do not want to use this ingredient? So I am covering all of that in this deep dive now. All of this is organized by chapters for your viewing pleasure. What is minoxidil? Minoxidil is an FDA approved medication for the treatment of androgenetic alopecia, commonly known as male or female pattern hair loss. It is available to you in topical form that is over the counter and it actually does come in an oral pill that is by prescription only. For this video, I will be focusing on the topical form that is available to you over the counter. And a fun fact about minoxidil, it was actually developed initially as a medication to lower blood pressure, but they noticed that people who took it had increased hair growth. So that was discovered as a side effect of this medication so it found a new use. What type of hair loss does minoxidil treat? So this is very important to understand. Minoxidil does not work on all forms of hair loss. So do not waste your time and money treating a certain type of hair loss condition that will not respond to minoxidil. So this medication is specifically approved for the treatment of androgenetic alopecia. Now minoxidil will not work on scarring forms of hair loss where the hair follicle is no longer viable. Furthermore, minoxidil will actually work the best for hair loss that is on the crown or in the part line more than frontal receding hairline issues. How do you get minoxidil? Good news, topical minoxidil is actually over the counter so you can get this without a prescription. You can find it at the drugstore, the grocery store, Amazon, online. It's very accessible. I have some options linked below in the description of this video. Now, minoxidil is the generic ingredient and you will find this ingredient sold by different brands. So what you wanna look for is the label on the packaging to make sure that you see the minoxidil ingredient isolated at the top as an active ingredient with a specific percentage listed. That is how you will know that you are getting an FDA approved form of this product. What brand of minoxidil is best? You do not have to overpay for this. You want a simple product with minoxidil as the active ingredient. A generic form is absolutely acceptable. So here is an example of a generic form. You can see these on Amazon or at the drugstore. Rogaine is an example of a popular branded form of minoxidil. Hims is another popular branded option. So those are just a few examples, but many brands will make a product like this. Again, choose one that fits your budget. You will likely find that all of the inactive ingredients are the same across many of these brands. You will also find that you can get this product in a serum or a foam. This is totally personal preference. Foams may spread easier and be more elegant for fine or straight hair, and serums may work more easily for curly or wavy hair. What strength of minoxidil is best? Typically, you will see minoxidil sold in a 2% strength and a 5% strength. Often these will be marked as 2% for women and 5% for men. However, many dermatologists recommend that men and women use the 5% form for optimal results. Now, studies have been done that have compared the 2% to the 5% form and showed that the 5% strength was more effective at growing hair and improving the density and thickness. So this study, for example, compared results between three groups. There were men who used 5% minoxidil twice a day, men who used 2% minoxidil twice a day, and the placebo group who used just a plain serum twice a day. The results showed that the 5% 
was superior to the 2% in increasing hair growth. There was 45% more hair regrowth with the 5% compared to the 2% minoxidil at week 48, and the 5% group also had an earlier response to treatment. However, note that the higher the percent, it may come with a greater chance of side effects, which I will detail in just a minute. Though in this study, there were actually no significant side effect differences between the study groups. How do you use minoxidil? Okay, so generally, you can use minoxidil once to twice daily, depending on several factors. But as a disclaimer, always refer to the instructions on the product that you chose. So there was a study done that compared daily 5% minoxidil to twice daily 2% minoxidil. And this study showed that using 5% once daily was as effective for stimulating hair growth as the twice daily 2% option. And the women in the study agreed that once daily was advantageous for hairstyling practices compared to using it twice daily. So to me, this is an important study because this means that you can get away with using this just one time a day, which is easier to keep your hair fresh and just easier to be consistent with that, and you will still get results. So don't feel like you have to use this twice a day. And there have been even more studies that have compared 5% once daily to 5% twice daily, showing quicker and more robust results with the twice daily protocol. But again, back to my point, if you can get 5% on your scalp once a day consistently, you will get results. So how does minoxidil work? There are several theories about how minoxidil actually works to increase hair growth. First, it is believed to widen the blood vessels in the scalp, which increases blood flow. So the more blood flow to the hair follicles will increase delivery of oxygen and nutrients that are crucial for growing hair. Minoxidil may also have direct effects on the hair follicle by prolonging the antigen phase or the growth phase of the hair cycle and increasing the size of the hair follicles, which may lead to the growth of thicker and longer hair. Are there research studies proving that minoxidil is effective? Well, I've already gone through some for you, but the answer is yes. There are numerous high quality, randomized, double blinded, placebo controlled studies and observational studies that prove the efficacy and tolerability of minoxidil for growing hair and decreasing hair shedding. This study here showed that after 12 months of using minoxidil 5% foam twice daily, 62% of participants had significant hair regrowth. And very interestingly, this study found that the amount of hair shedding during washing the hair decreased from about 69.7 hairs lost at the beginning of the study to just 33.8 hairs lost at 12 months of use of minoxidil. So this study showed that using minoxidil treatment made hairs stronger and less likely to shed. These truly are remarkable results. Here is another study demonstrating the efficacy of minoxidil. This is a randomized controlled trial, double blinded. It showed that 5% minoxidil had an average increase in hair count of 18.9 hairs per centimeter squared of scalp compared to 3.9 hairs per centimeter squared in the placebo group. What are the side effects of minoxidil? So minoxidil is actually very well tolerated and side effects are rare and they typically are minor if you do experience any. So your typical side effects will include scalp irritation, maybe itching, some dryness or flaking or like scaliness of the scalp. You may even experience some burning or stinging sensation to the scalp, but again, these are rare. You can minimize these side effects by decreasing the frequency of use from twice daily to once daily, or just go down in strength from the 5% to the 2% if you experience side effects. So how quickly can you see results from minoxidil? It can take at least four to six months of continuous use to see noticeable hair regrowth from minoxidil. Some people may see results sooner, while others may take longer to get those results. Other factors certainly can contribute to the timing, such as once or twice daily, or use of 5% versus the 2% formulation. Is the new hair growth from minoxidil permanent? This is important to understand that minoxidil is not a cure for hair loss and it needs to be used continuously to maintain that new hair growth. If you stop using minoxidil, any hair that was gained will likely be lost within a few months. This is a huge point of 
contention or consideration for most patients. I often find that when I explain this part to my patients in my exam room, they sometimes can shy away from the treatment. And ultimately I tell them, if the hair loss bothers you enough that you are going to commit to daily and long-term use of this, then you should try it. But if not, you likely will not end up being able to be consistent enough to get measurable success. How much does minoxidil cost? Prices of minoxidil treatment vary greatly by brands, but in general, you can get a quality product from 10 to $20 a month. Again, you need to commit to this long term. So take that into account with your budget. You are not just making sure that you can afford it one time, but you need to be able to afford it every month. And you can get some bulk supply for like six months or more, and that will end up saving you money as well. Can minoxidil be used in combination with other treatments? Yes, topical minoxidil can be used in combination with other hair regrowth treatments. Some studies have even suggested that minoxidil may enhance the effectiveness of other hair loss treatments like finasteride or low level laser therapy. So talk to your doctor about any other treatments that you might be on for hair loss to make sure that using minoxidil in combination is okay for you. Now, personally, I do recommend a multifactorial approach to hair growth that includes topical treatments like minoxidil, home devices like low level light therapy, even in office procedures like platelet rich plasma therapy, and of course, considering oral medications if that's right for you. Are there any natural alternatives to minoxidil if you do not want to use this ingredient? Absolutely there are. After all, minoxidil is just not for everyone. So if you want to try something other than minoxidil topically to regrow your hair or to decrease the amount of hair that you are shedding, come back for part three. I'm going to do a deep dive on all of the alternative or natural treatments and ingredients for hair loss. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, The Budget Dermatologist, turn on those notifications so you don't miss part three and more skincare content coming your way every week. I'll see you guys soon.